Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX remained in the red zone for the third consecutive day and lost 49.75 points or 0.93 percent, settling at 5,316 points. Market turnover was 2.96 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 6.83 percent compared to the previous trading day. Islami Bank Bangladesh, Mercantile Bank and BRAC Bank from the banking sector, Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Beximco Pharmaceuticals and Renata from the pharmaceuticals and chemicals sector, and Lafarge Wholesome Bangladesh and Heidelberg Cement Bangladesh from the cement sector mainly dragged the market down today. In terms of sector-wise return, the industrial sector posted the highest gain of 0.53 percent, while the telecommunication sector registered the second highest gain of 0.19 percent. On the other hand, the NBFI sector posted the highest loss of 2.25 percent. Four insurance, three industrial and three pharmaceuticals and chemicals companies were among the top 20 losers today. Libra Infusions, Sonali Anch Industries and U.S. Mania Glass Sheet Factory registered the highest gain while Union Insurance Company Limited, Parabi General Insurance Company and Fortune Shoes were the top losers today. Parabi General Insurance Company experienced a notable decline in their share prices following their recent downgrade to the Z category as they failed to disburse declared dividends within the stipulated time. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of ICB AMCL First Agrani Bank Mutual, City General Insurance and Bangladesh Industrial Finance Company Limited increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the above-mentioned stocks. Top two news today. The government is shifting focus toward joining the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. RCEP, the world's largest trade bloc led by China, instead of advancing the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement, SEPA, with India. Bangladesh will apply for RCEP membership this week while preparing to negotiate free trade agreements, FTS, with countries like Japan, China, Thailand and Singapore. Commerce Secretary M.D. Selim Adin expects the FTA with Japan to be completed before securing RCEP membership, while discussions with China for an FTA will continue, with no immediate progress on CEPA talks with India. The government has significantly increased its borrowing from commercial banks, nearly doubling the amount in the first three months of the fiscal year, compared to the same period last year. This surge is driven by lower revenue collection, prompting higher borrowing, while high interest rates on Treasury bills and bonds have made these instruments attractive to banks amid reduced private sector loan demand. According to Bangladesh Bank data, government borrowing through treasury bills and bonds from July to September reached 47,209 crore Bangladeshi takas, a 93% increase from last year's 24,474 crore Bangladeshi takas. Thus, the shortfall in revenue and absence of expected foreign funds have pushed the government to rely more heavily on the banking sector. That's all for today. Thank you.